Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video. I'm Winston, of course, and today I want to share with you, this is something that I've learned to do since, like, a huge jumpstart in my path of witchcraft. This was something that I developed myself. I haven't heard of anybody else using it before, but it's something that helps me connect with my element, which a huge element that I'm connected with is water. I am a Pisces, um, astrologically, and it just makes sense. I love the water. I could just spend hours swimming around, and my mom can attest to that, that I would just spend hours in the pool while we are at convocation in Michigan in a mermaid tail. And that's just a little something that I do, and I don't know why I'm so connected with water, but I just am. That's my element that I connect with the most, and I've even been through guided meditations that connect me to water and to help you find which elements you connect with the most, and water was my element. That's the one that popped up all the way through that guided meditation. Um, but today, I would like to share with you something that I use. It's a type of petition. Um, a petition is, in my opinion, one of the simplest forms of a spell that you can do. It All it does is require a piece of paper and a writing utensil and the intent to do it. Super simple. But what I like to do, I like to connect it with the element of water. So what I do, I make a shell petition or some would say this could be a wishing shell. Now, I've only ever heard of a wishing shell as a term in, you know, fiction, movies, and whatnot. And what I'm doing is not at all related to fiction and movies, but that's another term that could be used is instead of a petition shell, this could be called a wishing shell. Again, I've never read about this particular type of petition in water witchcraft. There's not a lot of books at all on water witchcraft. And there's not a lot of people talking about water witchcraft either. Um, but that's something that I'm super connected with. This is something I developed early on myself. And I'm just here to share with you. Um, so something I'm going to do that I like to do whenever I'm making these petitions. I like to set the intent of my space. So what I'm going to do, this particular petition that I'm making today, is going to be in regards to success and learning and knowledge. Because that's my biggest goal of this year is to increase how much I know about other types of paganism and other, other and excuse me, other paths and what other paths there are out there, learn as much as I can this year. So I'm going to light some dragon blood incense and I just have an incense cone, something super simple. Um, and what dragon's blood does for me or how I associate it is for success and luck and fortune. So I'm just going to light that to kind of help me get into that mental state with the smell of the dragon's blood. And that's something I like to do. I like to usually set my space with an incense. Um, a lot of people use incense for offerings or cleansings. So I'm just setting my space with this. And so you're gonna see smoke. That's obviously how it works. <laughs> so the things I'm gonna use today, I of course have a shell the vessel, basically, of the petition. Um, I have a whole bowl of shells um, that you can basically insert your petition into it. Um, I don't know the particular name of what type of shells these are, but any shell that you can insert the petition into um, would work. So I'm using this shell. I have a piece of paper, currently blank, a pen, a candle, and then also to give every this petition a little boost, I'm going to put some herbs into it. Herbs aren't necessary for the type of position, petition, um, but they do just help. Uh, for me, they help a little bit with that oomph, giving it a little bit of an extra kick. So I'm going to put in some mugwort, and then I'm also going to put in some sage for sage for wisdom and clarity, and then mugwort for the divination aspect and c connecting to the universe to really emphasize that petition to help myself in learning. Now, one thing about petitions, they aren't a solid answer. There is no confirmation about it. A petition is not meant to be a, like, 
you do a petition versus actually putting in work. You have to put in the work in the first place because that's your intent. And the whole thing about witchcraft, it's all about intent. So you have to put in that effort in order to get the result. But this is just a little bit of putting those good energies into the universe so that you can be a little bit more successful in whatever you are trying to get accomplished. So to begin with, like I said, I'm going to write down my intention or my petition on this piece of paper. So to gain knowledge on all pagan paths. I'm just going to put all paths. And um, there are a couple different other things you could do. Sometimes I like to incorporate blood magic into this, so I like to seal my petition with blood by using my burin. I think it's called pronounced burin. It's a very um, nicely pointed, almost, it's not a wand, but it's a pointed thing to help draw blood. Um, and I got a very nice one, um, and I'll talk about that eventually in a witchcraft tools video that I'm going to do. But I have my petition written down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it up. And I'm going to then place it into the shell. And I'm going to have to fold it a little bit more with this type of shell. And so it's placed into the shell. And then I'm going to take some of my herbs. I'm gonna take some of that mugwort and put that in the shell as well. And then I'm going to take some of the sage and then put that into the shell. And again, these steps aren't necessary for this type of petition, but like I said, they just help me a little bit. Put that a little bit more energy into it. And so the shell is now ready. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, it can be, you can do some color magic in this as well. Um, I'm just going to use a white candle. White is kind of a catch-all for me. White can be anything. Um, but you can do, let's say, since I'm doing a success petition, I could do a red candle for strength and success. Or if you're doing something in regards to love, you can use a pink candle. If you're doing something in regards to, let's say, connecting with your ancestors or divination purposes, you could use a purple candle different stuff like that. However the colors work for you, you can use that. Or for wealth, you can use a green or a gold candle. But like I said, I'm just going to use a white candle. So I'm going to light that. And then what this is going to do, the white candle or the candle in general, um, you're going to let it burn, of course, a little bit to get that wax going, to get that wax to melt. And you're going to seal the shell. Now this can be a bit messy. So if you want to save your space or your countertop or tabletop, um, something that obviously you can't get wax off of, um, I would suggest putting a paper down or something that you want to catch the wax in that does drip off of the shell. For me, I am not too worried about this desk. This desk I can easily scrape the wax off of. So it's just gonna burn a little bit to get that wax melted so we can seal the petition. Um, again, this is something that I did early on. It's very easy to do. You can get shells from craft stores. You can collect them if you're by a beach um, or something. And herbs you can get from the store. You can get most of these herbs, I believe, except mugwort. You can't get mugwort at any grocery store. You have to go to a specialty herb shop or a spiritual shop to get that. Um, candles, you can, I get a lot of my candles from the Dollar Tree <laughs> because it's a dollar for two um, tapered candles and I go through them a lot so finding a cost effective option is the best thing for me. And so some of that wax is melting now 
So I'm just going to drip that melting wax to seal up the shell. And so it'll seal up the herbs, it'll seal the petition, and of course if you are a child who's doing spell work, and of course you're going to want some parental guidance for this, this is obviously you're dealing with fire so be responsible, that's just common sense. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. it. The wax will have to dry first and everything. Wax usually dries pretty fast. Um, and then it's sealed. And there we go. That's as simple as it gets. Um, once the wax is fully dried, what I like to do with this type of petition, I like to find a natural body of water. So in the back of my, where I live, there is a river that runs through, which attaches to a lake, which is only about not even a block from my front door, basically. And I will throw it into the lake or I'll throw it into the river and just focus my intent on for this success. Just focus on the intent or what I wrote in the petition while I toss it into the body of water. And it kind of sends it off of, to whatever force you're trying to reach. So if you think about it, the water cycle, um, everything from the river flows into the lake or the ocean and it then evaporates and goes into the clouds and then comes back. So it's in a constant cycle. So it's kind of releasing that energy to go further and maybe go up into the universe or go through the universe into different things if that's how you view your path. So simple, super simple petition that I, you don't have to have a lot. This particular petition, all you need is a paper, a pen or a pencil and a shell and then some candle wax to seal it. Four things, right? Writing utensil, paper, shell, wax. Four things for this petition. And this petition can be anything. And then you can get creative with it. You can do that color magic. Like I said, you can add herbs. You can add blood magic to it. Um, you can even put stones in here for your intent, or you can put little objects in it. If you have a bigger shell, of course, something that can fit it in. And then you can release it into the natural body of water. Um, if you don't have access to a natural body of water, you could always then give it to the earth. So bury it. Or if you, if all else, you can also put it on your altar as well for this petition. And it's super simple, super simple. So I just wanted to share that. So if this is something you want to try, go ahead. I'm always encouraging to share knowledge and then gain knowledge from other people. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you again. Bye.